I'm back. Uh, we're playing Tex Murphy now, and I've just got to quickly change this over. So, oh wait, did I? Oh, I did the win. I did the window for didn't I? Um, window capture. Why is it not? There we go. Right, let's, let's stretch it out. Yeah. And then we want. I've got a new overlay for this as well, so we'll be moving on to the text one, which is. Boop. So we've got a more themed. Um, one, and I made my little, own little, uh, little text. Me. <laughs> so, yes, let's do this. Right, I'm going to. Uh, stretching out already. Things look pretty slow on the street today. Uh, why does it stretch itself out? Hold on. Blah. Bear with. There we go. Because it, it's... I forgot when you uh, click on it, it makes it bigger like that. Right. A little dot there. Um, what were we doing last time? So, we needed to go downtown somewhere um, to interview someone or talk to someone. Detec detec detect someone. So, let's try and make a way there. Looks like he's going to chuck it down inside. Ah, counter smashing. There you go. If it's too loud, just tell me. I'll try and turn down the volume as well. Because it's with DOS box it's using tends to uh, overwhelm. Rainier. That name smacks of money. Hopefully she doesn't want to hire me to find her lost poodle. As I land my speeder, I see my dream house, only bigger. The butler is a tall, thin man, about 70. He tells me the Countess is expecting me and shows me into a large, lavishly furnished drawing room. I'm the Countess Renier. Please, have a seat. Please, sit down. Thank you. I am missing you. You know, I pictured you being, well, older and heavier. No one is born old, Mr. Murphy. Now, shall we discuss our business while we're still young? Oh, by all means. Pardon my interruption. Your what? services have been recommended to me by a trusted friend who prefers to remain anonymous. Suffice it to say that your unique abilities are what I need right now. Um, which of my unique abilities are you referring to? I'm sure you have many unique abilities. The one I would hire you for is your talent of locating people and things. I've been told this talent has made you some friends and many enemies. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Candace, but wasn't it Roy Rogers who once said, you can't please all the people all the time? Save your homespun humor for a more gullible woman. What I'm asking you to do may make you very unpopular with some people. Uh, exactly how unpopular are we talking here? Let me give you some background information, then you can decide for yourself. Some time ago, a family heirloom was stolen from this bungalow. I do keep most of my valuables on my estate in Europe, but on this visit, I brought the piece to show a friend. Within hours of my arrival, I found it stolen, and I have made extensive inquiries trying to retrieve it, but I found out nothing. Well, I'm sure you have more resources, talking about cash, than I do. You should be able to buy all the information you need. What makes you think that I can help you? Oh, I don't. I remembered what my friend had told me about you after I had exhausted every other option. Wow, rude. You know, referring to me as your last option could automatically double my fee. 
I already planned on paying you much more than your usual fee. I'm a wealthy young woman, Mr. Murphy. To give you an idea, the stolen artifact alone is worth more money than you could earn in ten lifetimes. Oh, we'll see about that when I win the clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> How quaint. Let's not waste any more time. I need some work done, and I'll pay you well for it. Well, in my experience, getting paid well is a relative term. Your obsession with money is appalling. Oh, I have any number of appalling traits, but I am a good P.I. Well, if you prove to be as good as you think you are, I'll pay you a $30,000 finder's fee. Mm -hmm. Well, let me think about it. Okay, I'll do it. In fact, I'll even mow your lawn at no charge. Try to control yourself, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll expect you to focus all of your energies on this job, and the methods you use to retrieve the artifact are of no interest to me. But as more time elapses, the less likely it is an item will be found, and for that reason, I must require you to find it and to return it to me within one week. And after that, there will be no finder's fee available to you. Do you pay time and a half after 40 hours? <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. I have stated my conditions. As to the artifact itself, it is a beautiful statuette made of crystal and shaped in the form of a bird. It has been in my family for countless generations, and as I said, it is extremely valuable. There are many collectors who would stop at nothing to own it. Whoever stole the statuette would undoubtedly have gone to the black market and offered it to the highest bidder. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I think I saw that statuette you're talking about. Someone was selling it on the Home Shopping Network. Who I had no idea it was so expensive. You make jokes, but you cannot possibly know how rare and valuable the statuette is. And now that you have all the necessary information, we'll end this charming visit. Don't bother contacting me until you have the statuette in your possession. And... If you are successful in your search, oh, it that. could change my opinion of you considerably. My valet will give you a retainer of $1,000 on your way out. Goodbye, Mr. Murphy. I didn't tell the Countess, but I would have done damn near anything for $30,000. Now I've got to find a link to the black market. How hard can it be? Well, we already know that Chelsea has links to the black market, thanks to... Uh, What's his name? The old guy. Uh, so we'll go to the street or new street or newsstand. I guess we go to the street or newsstand. <coughs> All right. All right. I know you've got a oh, rook. That's his name. That's his name. Um, Chelsea's a hot little number. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty impressive. Wasn't this an un unemployed? Must but manly. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Let me show you my investigative abilities. Then you'll be really impressed. Oh, I'm sure I would. But I just don't date my customers, especially ones with no money. Well, I happen to have a thousand dollars. I have comments. talents that money can't buy. And some that I charge for. Oh, how intriguing. So, is there something you came to ask me about? Uh, all right, let's go from the very bottom up. Apparently, it's a real hot item. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. He probably either has the statuette or knows who has it. Okay. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Contest Reina. Sorry, Maybe the elephant guy. I haven't heard anything about that. He's only been here a few weeks, and I don't know much about him. Oh, I remember Rusty. He had a kid show on TV when I was young. I hated the show. Oh, my nose. Makeup, ooh, I swear, whenever I stream, my nose just goes. 
fucking dry and end up sniffing fucking loads. I apologise. Not what you want to hear when you're watching a stream. All right, let's talk to Brooke. He might. Brooke know Garner. Him. Let's go. What now, Murphy? What now, Murphy? Tell me about Franco Franco. Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. All right, that's helped us a lot. Not. Uh, what about chocolate cake guy? Ask away. Ask about. Oh, don't know a thing about it. Well, statuette. Sorry, can't help you with that. What? Countess Renier. Wish I could help. Oh, don't know a thing about it. Sorry, can't help you with that. Okay, so he's oh, I'm not used to this then. Okay. Ooh. Right, who can we go and ask? Oh, Sal. Is it Sal? No, Louis. Louis. I thought he was Sal. Because like, I'm used to like, Sal being named by like, cafe owners what usually. What can I get you? Some information, please. Inflation? Information. <laughs> Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. Ah. Sorry, Mife. Really? Sorry. Okay, right. He knows nothing. Uh... The photo open. All hell has broken loose since the government. I heard that Ardo shuts the place down every once in a while to do fire safety upgrade. Okay, so we can't get any yet. Uh, the only other person we know of is this guy up here. Hi, Murphy. Well, you see my new nose. I'm so excited. Hmm. I'm gonna look and feel like a new man. Kiss up. Congratulations. Now you'll have to carry a stick around to keep the women off you. Oh, come on, Maybe Quit finding me. What do you need? What do you need? Wait, oh. Why, why has it gone straight to him? No, no. We're inventory, like. I've heard his name in connection with some smuggling and illegal importing. I don't know anymore. I haven't got any info on that. I can't help you there. Nobody knows about one of the richest people. Okay. I haven't got any info on that. Okay, right. So it's fucking useless again. So anything we can combine an inventory. Keys and Malihu. I don't think we can combine that with that yet. No. Hmm. Go into her office and see if we can find anything. Oh, I wonder if I can fill up my ring toss ring. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not really okay. Yeah. Can we use our phone? No. Okay, can, where can we travel? It's can we travel to cops? Session here again. Coppers. Hey Murphy, guess what? We got the guy who robbed those pawn shops. Turned himself in. Can you believe it? Kept babbling some about a clown coming back from the dead to haunt him. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, I know all about it. Because I'm the one who put the fear of Rusty in him. Sure, sure you did, Murphy. What can I do for you? How about you still be in a dick face? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially jade. Why did it sound like it was put over the top then? Sorry, jade. Murphy. I sound like Aaron Hansen then. Especially jade. He's a Listen. big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially jade. <laughs> Can't help you with that. Especially Jade. Jeez, Tex, you think I know about everything? 
Yes, I do. Sorry, Murphy. All right. We've got information about Jade now, so now we've got to go out and ask everybody about Jade now. Uh, let's do a towel first. Work our way backwards. Hey, Murphy! Ask about Jade. I can't help you there. You're useless. All right. Uh, warehouse is pointless. That's pointless. Shall see them next. What's going on, Tex? Tell me about about the jade. Well, you're useless as well. Ah, uh, Rook maybe. Be Rook or yeah, probably Judas Rook. Murphy, can't you find something else to do besides bothering me? Yes. You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone hey. named Franco, who was looking to buy Jade. There wasn't anything of interest in the trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out back. Yeah, it's going to exit early then. Uh, trash can. I wonder what all these garbage cans are. Okay, nothing there. Uh, oh, that was the trash can that said paper only. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. What? Wow. Examine. No, not hint. Examine. Right click interest in Jade. Chrome, here's Jade. Pay top dollar trade. Conduct crime. Ah, there we go. Alright, cool. We got a location. Being a movie buff, I've heard of the Alhambra Theater, though I heard it was closed down years ago. Sure enough, it's boarded up, but one of the back doors is unlocked. As soon as I step inside, two lugs the size of refrigerators grab me. I tell them that I have something for Mr. Franco, and one of them walks off. He comes back a minute later and escorts me into the main theater. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. The place is empty except for a man sitting by himself near the front of the theater. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Formerly polite. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Franco. Tell me, do you do most of your business in dark theaters? How and where I do my business is not your concern, Mr. Private Eye. As I'm sure you know, I'm strictly a legitimate businessman. Get down to business, bad pun. There we go. Yeah, you may be legit, but I understand you're pretty jaded. Oh, yes, that I am. Speaking of which, did you bring the item? Uh, about that. No. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to get jade now? That's just... Uh. Uh hmm. I mean I've got, again, I've got a thousand dollars, maybe I can buy off uh maybe I can buy off what's it called, Rook. If he's got any. He's a big time crook. Okay, he's, he's not giving me any more information. Okay. Uh channel revenue rocks pawn shop. What else can I help you with, Murphy? Murphy? You know, I subscribe to... No. Maybe... Maybe up at Quick Tower. Uh, yeah, that's not me. Hey, Murphy! Alright. Ask about... Wait, why isn't Jade an option on there anymore? No. How the fuck am I supposed to do that then? Where the fuck am I supposed to get Jade from? What? Oh, do I have keys for that? Oh, shit, there. Uh, didn't even think about that. Fucking hell. 
items, keys, use. Hmm. A locked box within a locked box. It must contain something worth having. The strong box is too sturdy to break open. I'll need the key. I'm fucking, how am I supposed to get the fucking key for it? That's just like. Key from Ali, maybe. Is that combined? Hey, it did work. Okay. Phew. Hey, there's our jade. Okay. Hmm, what do we have here? Unless I miss my guess, this is jade. It's good quality, too. Right, now we can travel back to the place. Okay, cool, 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 Do you have the item? Yes, I do. I have jade right here. Ah, a lovely specimen. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Where's now, the, where's the mini music in the game? One question to the best it's, of my uh, knowledge. It's in it's in the open areas. Unless it's is it's if it's supposed to be playing this bit, I I don't think I've ever had it playing this bit. Uh, mysterious quiet, grief from information, mysterious quiet. There's a statuette in the shape of a bird that recently came onto the market. Hello, also um, slightly it? retro fusion. How are you doing? Hmm. I Welcome. I know the statuette you're referring to. There were several bidders for it. But I believe it ended up in the hands of Eddie Ching. I can say no more about it. There. Now I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Don't not too bad, not too bad. I uh, just finished 12 minutes. Unless, um, course, really fun game. Another fine piece of um, I'm now on to you know the way out. Tex Murphy. So we're playing this for the next few hours. And then... Psychonauts tonight, so I'm excited. I'm I like lo I'm loving Psychonauts at the moment, and I love Tex Murphy games. Uh, so this is fun for me. Uh, right, I missed completely missed what he said then. So, fuck. <laughs> so I'm a sorry person. Um, guess hey, matey. Right. Uh, ask about. You didn't hear me say this, but Eddie Ching owns this whole section of the city. Okay. Right, who am I gonna? Can I go in there yet? I heard that. Our no, okay. Someone's gonna know about Eddie Ching. Talk to me, handsome. So the music plays now when you're in like this area. Like. Can you not hear the music playing? Yeah, the music's mini music's on. Turn it off a tiny bit. I think I turned it down before because it was it was like blaring in my ears. Um, hold on. There we go. Apologies. How can I help you, Tex? Right. Oh no! Close panel. Uh, ask about the edgy team. Look, I don't discuss that name, and neither should you. If you want to keep breathing, tell me, t tell me about him. Look, I don't. Ah, fine. Uh, Brook, maybe. What now, Murphy? Uh, edgy. Ching. Ching is a big man around here. With eyes and ears everywhere. If you go around asking questions about Eddie Ching, you'll find yourself sleeping with the fish real soon. So tell me about Eddie Ching. Uh, Ali. Ask away. Eddie Ching. Wish I could help. Damn it. It's maybe Louis. Too bad you don't like fresh brains, mate. Out off the grill. Lovely. Okay. 
Sorry, Mike. What? Well, didn't mean to say round. I've heard his name, but I don't know anything about him. Damn it. Uh, all right. I've got the pizza bar next. Uh. What can I get for you, handsome? How about a big plate of linguine with my own special sauce? How about just give me information? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think your sauce might be a little too rich for me. I just want to ask a couple of questions. Uh, Eddie Jane. Can't help you, Tex. Damn it. What, do you know anything about the statuette? So right. Uh... Maybe this face? Oh, shit, I need a card for that, don't I? Well, that's not gonna work. Alright. How's it going? You here to do more shopping? Oh, you bet. Because there sure is a lot of neat stuff in here. Well, go ahead and look around. If you see something you like in the blue light special box, just insert your card. We'll be happy to bill you later. I tried not to stare, but it threw me off when I saw how cross-eyed Ham Underwood is. I'll have to keep in mind that anything he says is on the left is probably on the right. I need to talk to you about stuff. You here to do more shopping? No, I came by to get some information from you. <laughs> I sell gadgets, not information. Feel free to look around, but the only questions I answer are about the merchandise. No. God damn. There's nothing in there, so we can't get anything there yet. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god, the bloody police, what nothing of police. Um bad bad bad. bad. Alright. What now, Seamus? Wrong person, but okay. Eddie Ching. Ching's a dangerous customer. He's responsible for half the crime in the city. Pretty sure he owns the police commissioner. We've been told to lay off him. Yeah, but... Okay. I don't think there's anybody else I can talk to. I've talked to everybody so far. Haven't I? Talk to him. Talk to Rune's dude, Peter. Get in the. Can't get the hotel. I heard that Ardo shut. Yeah. Fuck's sake. There must be a. Am I. Well, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Can't get in there. Can't get in there. You have a fax. Oh, we have a fax. Okay. You have a fax. Uh. No, I don't want to read it. I just want to read it. Who's that? I have some information you may find helpful. I won't prompt me to tell you this. Would not be entirely unhappy to see Eddie Ching come out of the short hand for once. Um, like most everyone in this city, I know very little about Ching, but I've been told that he lives in a very luxurious, like home to discreet apartment called the Knickerbocker. Powerful, number of powerful underworld figures live there. I don't know which apartment Ching lives in, but if you have a connection with the police, they might be able to help you. Okay. To the police, then. A gif. Um, all right, police station. Oh, wait. Okay, mouse is a bit, a bit finicky then. Back 
back again, eh, Murphy? What can I help you with? That place is home to more major crime figures than any other place on the planet. Eddie Ching lives there on the entire top floor. Thank you for that. End conversation. Looks like no one's home. This is going to be easier than falling off a horse. This window doesn't want to open up. Maybe if I... Whoa, whoa! Oh, he's dead. Whoa! When I stopped bouncing off the awning two floors below Ching's place, I realized it'll take more than sheer strength to get into the apartment. Luckily, I noticed something that might help as I bounced by. A sticker on Ching's window said, Security System Installed by Underwood Incorporated. Underwood Incorporated. Uh, why do I recognize that name, Underwood? Hmm. Oh, wait. Ugh, by the electronic shop. Back again, eh? What can I do for you? I understand you installed the security system at the Knickerbocker building. Yeah, I did, but my contract included a clause that I wouldn't talk about the job. Hmm. Well, what if I said I was in the security business myself? No kidding. Where have you installed security systems? Uh, the University of San Francisco's Mutant Lounge. Mister, you are a liar. I don't know what you're looking for, but you really? won't find it here. M doesn't want to talk, but I need some details on the security system at the Knickerbocker. I tell him that Enrique, my pet goldfish, died this morning and that I'm talking crazy. I understand. Yeah. Nope. The mayor's private squash court. Mister? Okay, well, let's try again. I'm so I understand you. Yeah, I did. Let's try four said one in. Well, just the high fidelity bank and trust company. Mister? Oh, fuck you then. <laughs> I, I understand. I'm a PI. I need some information. I'll keep my mouth shut if you help me out. I've got nothing to say. I keep my nose clean and I work in a confidential business. I'm sure you can understand. Yeah? I'm in the confidential business too. Say, why don't we swap trade secrets? Apparently, you have some trouble hearing. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. That pudgy. I'll that get through to him. Alright. I understand. I. You know, my wallet is so full, it's creating an unsightly bulge on my butt. I get paid well enough for my work. <laughs> I apologize. I understand that you and I are in the same line of. Moonlighting work? Really? You do security systems too? Well, not really. I'm actually a PI, but a security PI. I've got nothing. Understand this, Bucko. I've Look, wise guy, I've got some powerful friends. Skip that, M. If you walk out of here right Sorry. now, I'll pretend you never came in. We'll get through to him. Fraternize. Really? Well, you bet. I've installed hundreds of them. No kidding. Where have you installed security systems? The University of San Francisco's Mutant Lounge. Mister? How do you know I'm a liar? Let's see. I 
to know. I heard that our. Alright. Uh. Hint. Yeah. Like. It doesn't work though. This is the brand new elect. TV with remote crab speakers. Okay, I can move them. Oh, I can move that. I apologize to him. Front eyes. I understand. Well, sometimes. Here, let me see if I can find one of my business cards. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I always misplace my business cards, too. Uh, what types of security systems have you worked with? Let's see. The last job I had was the laser security system at Big Dick's Casino on Mars. I've heard that's a neat system. <laughs> but it's nothing compared to the one I just put in. Really? Go on, tell me. Well, sorry, but I'm not easily impressed. Just ask my ex-wife. Well, this security system would impress you. I'd tell you about it, but it's top secret stuff. Maybe in a couple of years. Fuck. <laughs> I apologize to him for prying into his business and tell him that I'm really just a... Alright, front eyes. We're, we're getting really? the... We're getting to the right <laughs> thing. Well, a few years ago, I handled the motion sensor alarm at the Law and Order Party. I've heard that's a neat system. <laughs> but it's not... I'll have you know that I've beaten every security system ever made. Well... After I installed this system, I tried to beat it, but I couldn't. First, the only possible way to enter the building would be to land on the roof and rappel down. Then, you'd have to cut through the LCD alarm glass. Well, that's not too hard. In fact, I, I sell a laser blade here that would do it. But once you're inside, Every room is flooded with a net of heat and motion sensing beams that could turn an elephant into a brick of carbon. Believe me, it's burglar proof. Uh, listen, this system is top secret, so uh, let's <laughs> just keep this between us. No. Where's this knife you're selling? Shelves and. Oh, that happened. Uh, I'd I like. I apologize to him. Uh, looking cover. Right. I've got. Yeah. How do I get the knife off him then? Is it like? Is it saintly cells? Oh, he just happens to have the bloody knife in the thing. Deus Ex item box. The Laser Blade 2000. Worthless except on glass. Hopefully Ham knows what he's talking about. Alright. Go, go, go. Right. Travel. Need to save off this because I haven't saved in a while. Ah, my ears. Armed with a chintzy electronic shop laser blade, I land my speeder on the roof of the Knickerbocker. Hoping for the best, I repel down the side and pull out the laser blade. The laser beam cuts through the LCD glass like it was butter. I gingerly crawl through the hole in the window and find myself inside Eddie Ching's library. 
Either I'm exaggerated or the laser fields aren't turned on. This must be my lucky day. Yeah, let's save just in case. Uh, increment. Uh, chings. Right. The stone bust. Whoever posed for it didn't win any beauty contests, I'll wager. Uh, oh god. My game's minimized itself. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Very comfy looking chair. I wish I had time to try them out. An extremely handsome mahogany table. Uh, anything else of info? No. As a rule, bookcases are great places to keep books. This book seems out of place somehow. Does that mean There's something different about this book? Hey. Just call it the PI's instinct. Aha! I knew it. A key. A key. Hey, I think this is the statue that was stolen from the JBs out in Chinatown. Wow, these plants aren't plastic, they're real. Ching must have paid a fortune for these. Ooh, that's a weird 3D fish tank. Yeah. Whoa, these clownfish are really valuable, especially the red one. He's got a cute purple growth on his forehead. It's very rare. The reason? I guess I can feed him, maybe, at some point. Hey there, little Buddha. Oh, we got here. A cage. Okay, and... A uh, fish wood. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. Um. Wow. I hate wedding pictures. They give me terrifying flashbacks. Well, even Ching's plants look expensive. So these are the laser nets Ham was talking about. There's a power box at the far end of the hallway Ooh. with a button flashing. Maybe if I can hit that button, it'll turn off the laser nets. Uh. Use. Go on, go on. Man, this security system is tough. My brilliant shot didn't turn off the beams, it just popped open the power box. Hmm. Looks like there's a lever that needs to be pulled down. <coughs> Hopefully my old horseshoe tossing skills haven't left me. I'll need to find something fairly <coughs> heavy. Uh well we need to fill that Ooh, got any ready into the thing then. Um, we need to ring toss ring use on that. Yeah. Right. Use on box. You got this text. As soon as the ring Yee. hits the lever, the laser net shuts down. Now I should have the run of the apartment. If the statuette's here, Ching probably has it well hidden. All right, save again. Uh, laser grid down. Oh, okay. I doubt I'll ever oh, be thank you. this dart again, and a good PI always travels light. You get the ring. I doubt I'll be needing this ring again. Good PI always travels. 
Can you stand up straight? Sit up straight. I still keep forgetting to bloody change the foster check thing. Oh, there you go. Open. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Oh. You are dead. Dead? Wow. Then you're the the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. Your life must be restored so that you may fulfill a higher purpose. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. Mufasa. I will do what I can to help you make your way, but only you can fulfill your destiny. Now, go back and try not to get yourself killed again. You will know when the time is at hand. I again. see you're back again. This is getting old, Murphy. Wait, next time. He's, as he's acting as if I've done walk it. Dub. Through the wrong door. I like how he said it twice, as if I walked through it twice. Ooh, that was lucky I just saved him. I guess I can't get in there. Well, this is your standard. Okay. An extremely dense and heavy Saturnium ball suspended over a gravity pad. Cool tiger. Looks real enough to nip my finger. Real nice door as bathrooms go. Luckily, nature's not calling. Okay. There is a Geiger in the terrarium. Little bugger's a land piranha. It's illegal even to own one of these. I guess we can use a trap on it. Well, that's not gonna work. Wait, can we open There is it? a Geiger in Wait, do we still have the fish food? No, we don't. No for safe 8,000, huh? Top of the line. Oh shit! Uh, do we know we don't need the code yet? Must be Venus before the big breakup. Right. I see you're back again. <sighs> yeah. All right. Load back up again. All right, so just gonna go back in there and get the. Something on the floor over there. Oh, yeah. Capture noose. A uh, coin slot. Sounds like something big moved back in the library when I used Ching's key on the switch lock. I better go take a look. Ooh. Right. Right, uh Capture Noose. Use Capture Noose on. Well that's not gonna There is a Geiger in How do I There must be a way to capture it. There is a yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it's okay. Can't do anything that. Uh, can't open that. Can't open that. Can't go in there. Right. Huh. Right. Well, look what's behind the bookcase. A secret room. I love secret rooms. Okay. Wonder if these barrels are full of some hearty ale. I wish I had time to check them out. 
This must be one of those hermetically sealed chambers. Unless I miss my guess, those objects are the three surviving artifacts from the Byzantine Empire. Absolutely priceless. Which one moves? Ah, that one moves. Aha! A security card slot. This must be the control for the pedestal where the statuette is. I swear I have seen this painting before. This one must be the original. Alright, can't move anything else. Looks like a cloth bandana is tied around David's naughty bits. Nutty bits. Okay, it's nothing of interest to that then. I guess Ching's vases are just too nice to put flowers in. This must be the Countess statuette. I guess she wasn't exaggerating when she said how valuable it was. If I try to reach the statuette with those laser beams on, they'll light me up like a dura log. Hmm. Can I use this, mate? Well, that's not. No. So now we need to find a security guard. I'm curious. Yeah. Got a Giga Chow. Where's the Chow though? There we go. Weird box behind there. Combine. Use on that. Okay. I don't know what I'll do with a small, ravenous Geiger. Oh well, everybody needs a pet. Hmm. Nice terrarium. Must have cost him a bundle. What if he's capturing something, I wonder? Well, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Must be Venus. Be I see you back. Oh, really? Fuck, I think I'll do well again. Yep. Damn it. Uh, 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 chow. Combine. Chow trap. Zoom. Right, grab that. Uh, use the Ching's key. Well, that's not gonna. Oh for fuck's sake! I've got to move. I don't know. Uh, that. That. Sounds like. Right, that's moved. Uh, we can't get in the safe yet because we don't actually have a code. Well, look what's behind the book. Alright, so. Cloth. That comes. Is that one? No, it's that one. Aha! A security card slot. This must be the control for the pedestal where the statue. Ah. I 
Where's the lever? I do not poison. Okay, let's uh, save here. Uh, statue. Oops. Uh, that does not help me. We've done that, yeah. This must be the camp. If I try to reach this, yeah. Uh, need the painting. Yeah, we've done that. Wait, is it? Oh, don't want the other painting. I don't usually do this in most games, but it's some bits on this. Even when I played this years ago, it was difficult. Some of the solutions are like very confusing. Um, plus, I'm throwing myself off now because I've died twice. Right, so I can't actually open this yet. Okay. Yeah, look at that safe. An ultra safe. So what am I doing wrong then? In study? I'm sorry, what? Where? Am I being blind? Birthday note in his study. Fucking hell, I was supposed to see that on the floor. Looks like a fax. I don't want to be nosy, but maybe I should take a look. Alright, examine. Happy birthday, if birthday, I wish we could end for Where is the red sun? I play the present. Problem in nine years. Um, 10 14 42. Ultra safe eight thousand. Ultra safe. Ten, fourteen, forty-two. Fuck. Ten fourteen fifty maybe. Birthday. Um, ten, fourteen, seventy two. An ultra safe eight thousand, huh? Ultra safe eight thousand, huh? Uh, 
10, 14, 22. No. Um. Birthday fat. Um. No, it's backwards. Four, forty-two, fourteen, ten. An ultra safe eight. Th Um, I'm going to go loot. I'll be right back.
I am back. Um, I found that I messed something up, so I had to go back a save. Um, now I, why can't I? I can't do anything. Wait. Oh great, it's frozen. Why is it frozen? Joy, the game's frozen. Something tells me the trail to the, the statuette leads. Wait, can I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this. Wait, no. Oh, 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 oh. Are we are we okay? Are we okay, game? Jesus. Oh, great. Now I'm on the floor. <laughs> How do I get? What if I can? Something tells me. Yeah, I um messed up on one of the things, so I've quickly do and stuff. Um, so I found out uh, the. Well, I didn't find out. I, I worked out like um, and kind of found out as well that it's thirtieth birthday. So you've got to go back, back. If he did birthday, um, it's always birthday. So it's ten, fourteen, and then uh, twelve. This is the 30th birthday, so it's the birthday. So I've got that now. Oh, really? 10, 14, 12. Right. Get. And get. Right. So we need to move that. Use the key on it. Sounds like. And go and get the chow from behind here. Do do speed run. Uh, use uh, combine with the cage. Let me use that cage on that. I don't know uh, what I'll do. Uh, right, so we got that. It's got a security guard. Let's have a look at it first. So if I'm in the security card must operate a door panel in the apartment. Right, so that's that, and then we've got the list of visitors. Uh, cool. Now, go through here, go through there. Oh, look what's right. Grab that. As uh, my partner's, when I was talking to my partner in right back, she was saying that, like, because I was worried, I don't want to use walkthroughs or guides too much or hints but if it's built into the game it's like there for help i'm i'm not perfect at pointing click games especially these old ones like these old ones are they were built around hint systems like say monkey island they had, had a hint line specifically set up because they knew people would get stuck but it's kind of like that now like that's our hint systems these days it's like guides and that sign was certainly dusty Mine was certainly dust. I say, do you ever, ever, ever under condition permits to do at any time, which we won't this time. Aha! A security. Right, so we know that. Uh, oh. uh, who's on that? I can't get the statuette from here. I'll need to find. Oh, thank. What this then? Great. This must be the. Oh wait, can I use the caption use on it? I can. Come on. Looks like Ching needs to install a better security system. Countess will be glad to get this statuette back. Almost as glad as I'll be to take her money. I'll return the statuette to her first thing in the morning. What, do we turn it back on? No. Okay, right. Let's go. Wait, can we just travel? Well, actually, before we do that, uh, save. Uh, let's put F. Just 
just for quick save. Oh, I am one tired hombre. I can't wait to... Oh, shoot. I go through all that work to get the statuette out of Ching's place, and I leave it in the damn speed. Really? And I didn't even roll up the windows. I am such an idiot. Wow. No, not the toilet paper roll. <laughs> I can see it bending. Oh, I'm dead. Colonel from the alley. Boom. Oh, my head feels like it's been pounded with a lead pipe. I guess it wasn't a bad dream after all. I wonder how I got here to my office. All I remember is flying pipe and stars. Damn it. After all the trouble I went to to get that stupid statuette, someone just walks up and takes it like candy from a baby. And my wallet's gone too. I hope somebody on the street saw me get jumped. I've got 29,000 reasons to get that crystal bird back. Hopefully I haven't used my tube of miracle facial cream. It should help reduce the swelling and make me look almost human again. Guess we can leave then. My trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I still regret not getting the sunroof option. All right. What's going on, Tex? Who attacked me? Sorry, Tex. I, I didn't see a thing. You know, I'll let you know if I hear anything. Sorry. I. Okay. Judas Murphy, can't you? Oh, shut up. Alright. What do you know about the mugging? I don't know anything about. What about the level personal? I don't know anything. I don't know. Well, that's okay. not gonna work. Alright, let's exit to the alley. It gives a clue in. I guess it gives a clue in the, in the title thing. So, Ali, maybe. Oh, nope, don't Damn know it. a thing about it. Sorry. Uh. uh anything, anything around here I'm supposed to find? told me you got whacked. What? I haven't heard any word on the street about who would have done it. He's some billionaire. I think he runs some kind of operation on Mars or the moon. You know, like you do. Oh, Tex, why can't all the men be like you? Because if all men were like me, you women would have a harder time finding something to complain about. Well, I've got plenty to complain about right now. 
Sal's gone too far this time, and I've got to do something about him. It's humiliating the way he's been flaunting his latest affair with some floozy. If I had some hard proof he's been sleeping around, I could finally divorce him and get some money from him. You know, Fran, a good P.I. like myself can come up with hard proof in his sleep. <laughs> I bet you can, mister. <laughs> and that's why I'd like to make a deal with you. i put some you. socks on cold feet. I saw you get jumped last night. Sal told me to keep quiet and that telling you would put my life in danger. But I'm willing to talk if you'll give me some proof that Sal is having an affair. Then I could divorce him and get some of the money he's been hiding away all these years. Hold on. There we go. Nice, nice warm feet now. Uh, try freeing me. <laughs> what danger could you be in by talking to me? You get me some dirt on Sal, and then I'll answer any questions you have. I don't know anything about the girl Sal is seeing. I've gone through his things, but haven't been able to find anything except for this note. I think it's meant to be a coded message. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have anything more for you to work with. Let me know when you've got something. Oh god. Uh, I mean, these two were in the war, Rick, Rook and... Uh, oh, what can I get you? Maybe they'll know. What else can I help you? Uh, ask about... No. It's a case, this game hey, is a case of, like, going and asking everything about everything to people. Like, oh, do you know this one thing that this person may know? Go talk to him, they might know that. Oh, get in. <gasps> Hey, Mr. Detective Guy, how's it going? Fine. Tell me, Ardo, you seem to watch a lot of TV. Have you ever sat down and read a good book? Are you making fun of me? You better leave before I count to three, or I'm gonna thump you. Why is that doing that twice? Oh, it's because it's been last ages since the last one. Never mind. I thought it was, I wonder why it was posting that twice. Uh, take charge. You can count all day, Ardo, because I'm going to look around. Uh, two. Give me a break, Ardo. I need some information. Okay, I'll give you a break on your head. <sighs> right. Let's use this Inspector Burns disguise. Portable helium. Just undo the knot and breathe deeply. Right. Well, I don't know why I can't combine that, to be honest, but. Right, use. Uh, use Inspector Burns disguise. Well, that's not good. Really? Oh. All yeah. hell has broken loose since the government stopped. Use disguise on the door. Well, that's not. Well, that's not gonna work. Why? The Golden Gate Hotel. Can I not? How do I use this in there? Well, that's not. Well, that's. Well, that's, well, that's not. Well, that's not gonna. The Golden Gate Hotel. The Golden. I thought I told you. I came by to apologize for that rude comment. By the way, that is a great hat. Thanks. I always wear this hat when I watch my favorite show, Inspector Birds. You know, Ardo, Inspector Burns and I are really good friends. You are? 
Wow! I'd do anything to meet Inspector Burns. Yeah, old Burns, he's the best. You know, we always play a little game. Okay. I can answer some questions, but first I have to put on my fire hat because Inspector Burns' fire safety show is going to be on pretty soon. Okay, uh... I don't know what that is. You know what mugging is? Alright. Can I not... Can I not use it and go in... Well, that's not gonna work. Hint. Yeah, I know. I got right. So I got to solve a case. Oh, mate. I suppose I should have done that before. Ask Louis. About, I should have asked Louis about. I forget that basically sometimes you'll get. Um. Um. You have to ask about all these people again, but it's like it gives you so many names. As a matter of fact. He just left. You'd probably be interested to know that he tore up a note and left it in the trash. Louis tells me he just took the garbage and dumped it in the trash can just outside the brewing stew. Okay. <coughs> this is where Louis. All right. Use. All right. Combine. No. Nope. Salmon, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, okay. Right. Boop, boop. Drag it all out. Frame for now. service I got the horrible sound of the outside. It's from that side. Uh, is it from that side? No. From that side, then. in the way.
Maybe that goes there. goes up there. And then that. There we go. I just said I'll move the piece of gold and it won't move. And combine that with that. Oh Jesus. Uh because I was green then. Move the cursor over green uh, and press the key. Does that mean like V? That's V. Oh, maybe. Oh, I get it now. So one of these has got to be right end. That's his that's hotel. Today. Your maybe? Pay, maybe it's pay, pay like that, yeah. No. Point. And. With. Sweet. Golden. Have. Confirmed. Hey, we confirmed your appointment with the chast with Chastity at the suite in the Golden Gate Hotel at the usual time in the past of days. So cool. This guy comes up to me and says he don't like you hanging around here. So he gives me a bunch of money and says he'll pay me more if I keep you out of here until he goes away. Ardo's not gonna let me into those rooms at the hotel, but I've got that Inspector Burns cost. All right, so now can I use it? Well, that's not gonna work. Now I've
I've got an Inspector Burns disguise that would fool his own mother. It certainly ought to do the trick on a goofball like Ardo. It's my hero, Inspector Burns! Inspector Burns, scumbucket. Can I save? I want to see what option. Uh, Inspector. Keep your pants on, son. I'm here to get a room. Make it out for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Gee, Inspector Burns. I thought you came to see me. Didn't you get my letter? Devoid of any room. <laughs> Who cares about your stupid letter? Just get me a room. I thought you were nice, Inspector Burns, but you're mean. You go away and don't come back. No, I didn't forget. P.I. Rule 17 is don't antagonize an idiot. After Ardo kicked me out, I realized <laughs> I need to get by him in order to get the dirt on Sal. If you let me go back, I promise I'll do better. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, luckily, we've just... Now I've got an Inspector Burns. We actually got a table there. It's my hero. And you must be Fire Ranger Ardo, my biggest fan in the entire world. Yes, sir, Inspector Burns. You must have got the letter I sent you. Why, yes, Ardo. I was deeply touched when I read your letter. But now I can't seem to remember a single word of it. That's okay. I know you're pretty busy. I wanted you to inspect this hotel for fire safety. I followed all your fire safety tips. Well, okay. I can see this means a lot to you. You're a good kid, so I'll just take a look around. All right. I'll open the doors, Inspector Burns. Yeah. After a few minutes, I find the door to the Regency Escort Service Hotel Suite. The door's locked, but there's a security panel on the wall beside it. Looks like it requires a password. Uh... Fuck, what was the... Oh, let me... Examine. Silicon. Silicon. I can't talk now. After a few minutes... So this is the Regency Escort Service Love Suite. Now that I'm in, I'll need to find something to prove that Sal's been a frequent customer. I say because I don't trust this. Especially if we're so close to the buddy uh, inside hotel. I know I just put hotel. I meant to put hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a piece of bright shiny foil. Must be from a bottle of champagne. A book about the history of the Golden Gate Hotel. Looks fascinating. Uh, frilly panties. I hope they aren't Sal's. The nightstands balance the bed nicely. I love symmetry. Looks like the upper left drawer is locked. I'll bet I could open it if I had something to pick the lock. This looks like a switch of some kind. Thank you. Probably has something to do with the lights. Well, duh, that's what a fucking light switch does. Well, I certainly hope Sal doesn't... Well, I certainly hope Sal doesn't come out of the closet. If he does, I'm proud of him. Hopefully this isn't Sal's negligee. The color's all wrong for him. Love you. Uh, 
I don't think Context, I don't know that's my partner. Do, so might be full of <laughs> not saying random randomly to random people, just I love you. Um yeah. Hmm, a piece of sheet music. Let's see. Lucido Lamour. Must be Western music. Good evening, ladies and charms. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm going to be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Hot and cold, it's what it does to me. Hot and cold, the shower sprays on me. La, la, hey, la, 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 What's this in the wall? Oh, a passion's breath room deodorizer. Yeah, let's take it. Examine it. Oh, it's a magnet. Mm, it smells terrible, but it's got a magnet on it. Magnets can be handy. Cool. Right. Right here. Ah, French doors with American knobs. Lavish, yet practical. Oops. Looks like someone left their shorts in the hot tub. I think I'll leave them right where they are. Lovely. This face looks like it was mounted here to hold flowers or something. Oh, sick. A yucky band aid. Ew. Blood on it as well. Beer cans. Oh, they're empty. Hmm. And some pillars. Ah, try and move the bloody towel. Oh, yuck. The towel smells like mildew and fine hops. Looks like a couple of objects have fallen into the drain. With that screwdriver, I could undo the screws on this drain cover and get that roll of film. You try scrubbing it out, you try soaking it out, but Sal still got that ring around the collar. Mm. Okay, combine that with that. Right. Can I use weird, weird thing, but I wonder if I can use the. Uh, I can. Okay. I tip it down the. Well, that's not. What was that for then? Nothing else in there. Hmm. Well, that's not going. Well, that's not gonna. Well, that's not gonna. I don't know. Um. This drawer, I thought they did that. Well, I can't get into this drawer, actually. Or can I? I suppose I can open other drawers. A Gideon's Bible, it figures. Everything points to Sal being an aspiring televangelist. Hmm, a camera. Too bad there's no film in it. There's no dust on it, though. Must have been used recently. Can we not grab it? Okay. I love it. Who is sang in that drawer? Twelve cents. <coughs> Some people would take this change, but not me. Cash, maybe, but not change. Yeah, but you could use it to open the grates. No. 
Oh my god. Ah. Alright. Can I not, like, use foil on... It's like the upper left drawer is locked. I'll bet I could... It's like the upper left drawer... I'm gonna pick it with... Oh. No. There's a line going across the room. Oh, it's last month's Playbub magazine. It's like it's stuck inside the drawer. Yeah, that's... Anything in the pillows? The bed looks deluxe. Firm, but not too firm. board game. I used to play this as a kid. I wonder what the escort girls do with it. A list of names. All female. Looks like Sal's a regular here at the Love Suite. That's what we need to get then, don't we? I can't pick it up. like someone hmm. oh this ain't gonna put me that someone's dropped a cork into this mounted base the opening's too narrow to get my hand in ah uh, uh, why mesh uh we use the mesh to pick them As I fill idea. up the mounted vase, the champagne cork flows to the top. I'm just going to reach in and pick it up. And we examine it. I can just get this piece of wire. There we go. Now, go into here. Use the wire drawer. And let's see what's in the drawer. Hold on. Wait, there we go. And what the fuck's that? Oh, it's a shoelace. I hope it hasn't been used inappropriately. Ooh, I wonder if we can use it on the great. Oh wait, uh combine with magnet. Yay. Uh, on grip. Yay, we've got a screwdriver. All right. Use screwdriver on great. Grab the film. Nice. All right. Can we combine it with the camera or do we just take it out of there? That's not. Okay, I guess that we just have to take that one there. Right, let's go to the restaurant. Francesca Lucido makes this. Yeah, I know. Francesca. No. Trying to work again. Right, okay. Well, gorgeous, you're back. <laughs> Did you get the evidence I need? 
Just try a bubble burst of persistence. Get off my back, you! I thought you understood. Okay, I didn't mean to be that harsh. Francesca. Francesca. I bet that's fucked it up now. Okay, Tex, so what have you got for me? That's not evidence! Well, that's not gonna work. <sighs> Fuck off, then. <laughs> I mean, I didn't realise she was... What now, Murphy? I didn't realise he was gonna be a complete dick to us. I bet she hates me now. How do I? Oh fuck! I remember now. Duh. A duh. <laughs> um, what's it called? A bloody new room. Can I like shut the door. That's not let Oh. Oh lordy. Well this is where rust Uh Posters in here tell you more than you'd ever care to What them can we just use Well that's not Maybe we need to go to the electrician shop then. Use credit card to find the Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Conveniently, we have it now. Looks like some. These pictures are sick. Francesca will be so happy. <laughs> Oh dear. Listen, unless you've got some dope on Sal and his floozy, this conversation... Oh, excellent! This will do the job nicely. <laughs> I'll answer all your questions now. She, no, she hates the fuck out me now. I was up <laughs> late, having some espresso, then I saw you get a jump. The guy who hit you was real small, maybe a 5'6", 130 pounds. I didn't see his face. He took your package you were carrying, then ran off. It looked like a professional hit, but he wasn't trying to kill you. Believe me, if he wanted to, he could have. After the first guy took off, I saw another guy come running down from your office. He bent over you and went through your coat. Then he ran off too. I recognized the second guy. He was a mutant named Pug. In the fact, I remember seeing him hanging around your office for the past few days. Anyway, I went over to make sure you were okay. Sal showed up a few minutes later and I made him carry you up to your office. That's all I know. So wait, was that five nine Sorry. Hundred five pounds. Five five nine hundred pounds. Hmm. Maybe I don't need that information though. Uh just gonna ask everybody about Pug. Okay. Sorry, Mife. Okay, you're used to them. Uh, next is Brook. Judas, man. I don't know anything about. Oh. Ask away. Wish I could help. 
Right, Chelsea, you're next. Or not, apparently. Wish I could help you there, Tex. used to hang out sometimes, but I haven't seen him for a while. I heard he's gotten a job of some kind. He doesn't work very often and he usually sleeps in a box down by the Snow White warehouse. Following the way you look Fuck. at me, Shit, it makes me, do me that. nervous. Oh. I accidentally fucking press space and I was trying to end his conversation. I want my wallet and some information, and I want it now. I must be going now. No matter where you go, I'll find you. Because all I have to do is follow my nose. You despise me, don't you? Please don't kill me. Give me my wallet, and I promise I won't hurt you. At least not very much. Why are you treating me like I'm some kind of criminal? You stole my wallet. I don't know, because you are one. You're a cynical person, if you'll forgive my saying so. Who, me? Cynical? What a load of crap. Now give me my wallet before I break you in half. Here's your wallet. You will see I have spent very little of your money. Tell me, how did you find me? Well, you're pretty sneaky, but someone saw you rob me. They also said you were tailing me. I was hired to follow you. I provide people with information through ways of my own. <laughs> Curious about oh, stealing my wallet was in the job description. No, I'm just looking for ways to make extra money. <laughs> I was hired by an old PI who called himself the Colonel. He paid Ooh, me to follow you and report back on everyone I saw you talk to. He also wanted me to tell him if I saw you with a little statue of a bird. He told me very little else, though he said that he had to find out if you could be trusted. There, I have told you everything I know. Now let me go, and I shall not bother you again. Mm. Us. The colonel was my mentor in the detective biz. When I was a young, idealistic crime fighter, I didn't understand some of the colonel's unethical PI methods. I reported the colonel to the PI licensing board and his license was temporarily revoked. In the years since, I've come to understand and even occasionally use the colonel's questionable methods, but we've never made up. I haven't seen the colonel's office since we fell out 15 years ago. From the look of the exterior, the colonel's kept it up nicely. I knock on the door and it swings open. The place is trashed. Oh dear. He's dead. <gasps> Oof. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to put off that trip to the Caribbean. <laughs> Maybe permanently. My God, what happened? Who did this to you? A chameleon. Uh, he's some kind of shapeshifter. I swear it's the devil himself. What did he want? Why did he attack you? Oh, he thought I had it. When he found out I didn't, he tried to torture me and to tell him where it was. And he got impatient, stuck a knife in my chest. I must have passed out. Somehow he was still alive. Last night. What was he looking for? Ah, oh, the winter chip. The cult wants it. They're planning a doomsday party. They're afraid whoever's got the chip might stop them. You're gonna have to find it and get it to Capricorn. Yeah, they know what to do with it. <sighs> but I don't know where to look. You gotta give me some help. Uh, there's no time. There's a disc by the bookcase. It's got information on that winter chip. Don't fail me. I don't know why it's only shown the oh, Twitter one. It should be shown all three. After all these years. <coughs> I 
need to I, I fly I, the I, colonel yeah. to the hospital and the attendants rush him into surgery but won't tell me what his chances are I know I should go and search the colonel's office for the disc he referred to but I'm having a hard time keeping my eyelids popped open I decide to go back to my office for a couple of hours of shut eye as I open the door I catch a whiff of expensive perfume then feel my jaw slam into a brick wall when my vision clears, I'm seated across from a beautiful oriental woman with matching goons on either side of me. Good evening, Mr. Murphy. Please, have a seat. Um. Well, who the hell are you and what are you doing in my office? You are either braver or more foolish than I thought. No one talks to anyone. She's tiny like compared that. to a desk. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you bring him by and we'll just see about that. I am Eddie Ching, you moron. Now sit down and shut up. I have learned that you were hired to steal a statuette from my apartment. I admire the skill you display in doing so, but I must now ask you to return the bird to me. Life is hard, Ching. I was hired to return the statuette to its rightful owner. Unfortunately, someone stole it from me before I could return it to her. It's gone? You imbecile! Have you no idea what you've done? Oh, my ears. You were set up. The person who hired you belongs to a group so powerful, they may hold the fate of the world in their hands. The statuette is worthless, except to this cult. And I went to great lengths to keep it from them. And all it took was one idiotic P.I. to give these fanatics the talisman they need to lose the demons of hell upon the earth. Okay. Slight environment, tender-hearted. Okay, I made a mistake. You won't help things by calling me names. <laughs> you obviously don't understand what I'm saying. With the statuette, the cult will fulfill its prophecies, unleashing an unimaginable flood of destruction. The prophecy is supposed to be fulfilled in six days. If the statuette is not recovered before then, nothing will matter. We'll all be dead. Bored. Well, that's a fascinating story, but uh, why are you telling me? The cult knows about me. They tried several times to steal the statuette once they learned I had it. They will not allow me or my operatives to obstruct their plans. You, however, they do not consider to be a threat. The cult is behind the crusade for genetic purity. I don't know any more than what I've told you, except for the my identity really of the man who set you up. He is known as the Chameleon. If you can find him, you will be within reach of the statuette. You should realize that your blunder makes you responsible for 10 billion lives. Hope for your own sake that you can succeed where more powerful people cannot. Let this be a reminder to you not to repeat your mistakes. If you fail, I will see you in hell. Okay. <gasps> so, did he have the chip or not? I never found out. My usual methods of persuasion weren't working. So I had to get a little more forceful. Next thing I know, his lights go out. I think I killed him. Dead men don't help us. We've got to find out about that chip. If the Colonel didn't have the chip, then he probably sent it to Murphy. Stick around and keep tabs on him until the last second. But don't kill him. If the chip doesn't show up, make sure Murphy doesn't blunder into our path. If you find the chip, destroy it. Then you can do what you want with Murphy. Murphy. A code, a toad, and a cigarette load. Interesting. Uh, maybe I need a career change. Two days in a row waking up in a semi conscious stupor is enough for anybody. My nose is so sore, my eyes water when I inhale, and all my front teeth shift slightly when I exhale. On top of all this, I found out that the world population could be annihilated because of me. 
That's just too much guilt to heap on a guy at this hour of the morning. Looks like I'm on my own. I'll need to find that disc the Colonel referred to. But what about mm. that Countess? Was she on the level or was she just feeding me a line? Who knows? Right. I think I'm going to call it there for now. Um, I'll be streaming Alita on uh, after 7 or around 7. Um, thank you for watching out with me today. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Ritza. She always sits in my chat. Uh, she streams every other day. I stream the other every day. So, um, so yeah, go check her out. If she actually lets me post that. There we go. They're not playing first moment, moment. but um, yeah, uh, I'll be playing Psychonauts tonight, so I cut it here, and I'll see you later. <laughs>